Hello, thank you very much for joining us. This is the Colorado Show on Proof TV, where the truth liberates. We believe that everybody has been given some purpose on earth to fulfill. And once you've discovered that purpose, you need to lead your life very passionately. And you have to tap into the power that God has given you. That is what this show is all about. We bring young people who are knowledgeable about uh, what their purpose on earth is. And then also they, they live it out passionately and also depend on the power of God. And today we have a gentleman who is <laughs> marking all these checklists. He's, he's, he's really, he's really uh, someone who I've, I've known to do these things in the way that the show really expresses them. And so we'll be back after this break. This show is sponsored by the Conrado Group and then also Heritage Christian University College. This is the place to school. We'll be back. It feels like becoming an entrepreneur aside academics is never going to be possible when you're in school. Mainly because we feel that we are young and we don't have the resources and the guts to be one. But if you believe in yourself and you have the passion to become an entrepreneur, then you already are. Staying ahead in a highly competitive environment requires applying creativity and innovation to every aspect of your journey to becoming an entrepreneur. Presently, entrepreneurship is driven by creativity and innovation to attain business objectives. The explosion in technology, business, entrepreneurship and consumption in this new era is as a result of the ongoing application of innovation. Milton Bell once said, if opportunity doesn't knock, build a door. So, if you are ready to be an entrepreneur, Heritage Christian College is ready for you. Heritage Christian College moves you from a wantrepreneur to become an entrepreneur. Are you interested in building yourself in the media sector? Do you want to be a journalist, a videographer, a photographer, or any media personnel? Then Heritage Media Center is the right place to be. Ashon Manchelina is my name, a student of the Heritage Media Center. Heritage Media Center is just not centered on theory, but mostly about practicals. I am a student studying both journalism and multimedia. Someone would ask, can I study both journalism and multimedia? Yes, you can, and it also comes with a discount. Studying at Heritage Media Center gives you the opportunity to have access to all learning materials. Here at Heritage Media Center, we have the best lectures. Their main aim is to make sure we get the best of understanding. Come to Heritage Media Center and have that quality education. Right. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us. It is the Conrado Show on Truth TV. And today, my guest is Isaac Kweku ACN. And we're going to be talking about passionate pursuit of our dreams. He is, he describes himself as a, a young serial entrepreneur and a wannabe pilot. <clears throat> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah. I've been chasing you, chasing you, chasing you just to get you on this show. But um, today you've brought yourself. Yes, please. Yes. So welcome. Thank you. I'm excited. <laughs> so let's zoom in. Okay. So. Yeah. You, <laughs> you, you say you are a serial entrepreneur. Yes, please. What job do you do? Okay. <laughs> Entrepreneurs do some jobs, but we don't see what job you are doing. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. Uh -huh. I'd like to use your platform to appreciate all those that know me mm. and then follow me on 
on social media, especially on Facebook. Okay. And then on the Instagram. Mm-hmm. I really appreciate their time. All I right. I want to use your platform to say a very big thank you to my super diamond, my wife. Mm-hmm. We'll talk about her later. Me yeah. In everything that I do. Right. I mean, it's not easy yeah. that as a young person you get. And loving and supporting wife. Wow. For me, God has blessed me with that. And I really Cornelia, Cornelia, Cornelia. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, what exactly do you do? What exactly I do? Mm-hmm. Um, I nurture business ideas. Mm-hmm. I bring new ideas. Mm-hmm. I put them on paper, mm-hmm. and then look at um, the SOP, the strengths, the weakness, the opportunities, mm-hmm. and then. After I've seen how feasible and scalable the idea is, yeah. I sell it out mm-hmm. to people that can run the business. I see. Okay, so I've already sold about five ideas. I see. And I'm still nurturing a lot. A lot. And I see. So I'm a serial entrepreneur. What I hear in tears here. Anyway, but. What areas are these kind of businesses? Okay, so I'm more into event planning. Okay. And then also hospitality. So in the field of hospitality, Mm -hmm. I'm more into travel and tour. I see. And then I also write ideas for people who want to build facilities like beaches. Okay. I mean, resorts, Mm -hmm. beer bar, and then those clubs. Not beer bar. I'm not talking about (laughs) the... I mean, we we look at those that fall in the categories of the pubs, you understand? I see. Yes. So, these are the areas that I write business about. I see. I see. Interesting. And um, um, <clears throat> we will come into, into that aspect again a little bit uh, more closely. But where do you come from? For me, mm. if I should describe where I come from... Mm. Based on what I know, <laughs> my mom says we are from Briwa. Where is that? Briwa is in the central region. Okay. Um, near Cape Coast. And I was born in Bogoso. Okay. I grew up in Enchi uh-huh. and then Atiku in the western region. Interesting. So basically, I come from all these places I've mentioned. Yeah. But Briwa is where my mom says we, are, we come from. I see. So where, where does your father say you come from? If your mom says you come <laughs> um, Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, I, I didn't grow up with my father, so I don't know much about my father. Okay. Yes. Well, uh, is he alive? No, he's he's part. Least. But, okay. Uh, as long as I knew, okay. Um, the, my mom and my dad broke up when I was around four. Okay. So, okay. Okay. So, but how many children did they have together that you know? My about? mom and dad had four children. Okay. I'm the first one. Oh. And then my mom alone has 11 children. Oh, what are you saying? Okay, so my <laughs> mom has 11 children. Wow. Um, five different fathers. And then on my dad's side, we wow. have four. I see. Yeah. Wow, that's a superwoman. That's a superwoman, yeah. Yeah, but she's, she's alive. She's alive, very strong and active. I see. Awesome, yeah. awesome, awesome, awesome. I think you did take care on the, on the, the plane that you would... You would fly if, first. If God is perfect. Amen. Get our <laughs> awesome, awesome. And how did you grow up? So okay. you were you were taken care of by your okay, mom. Okay, so um, I stayed with my mom. Hmm. And I remember when I was um, eight years, yeah. I went to stay with my auntie okay. um, in Enchi. Right. So I stayed with her until 2006. Right. She passed away. Oh. And then we came to Bogoso for her funeral. Uh-huh. Right after the funeral, my uncle picked me oh. and then he took me to Atiku, Western Region. I see. And that is where everything changed. When I was in Enchi, uh-huh. um, I never liked school. So you take me to school. Oh. The next day, I'll fight and you bring me home. Really? But when I got to Atiku, uh-huh. I started school in class three. The Church of Christ International School. Uh-huh. I call it Great Courses. Uh-huh. And then um, I got straight to class five. Why? Were that brilliant? Okay, so I was not that 
experience. But, but uh, my uncle invested a lot in me. I see. Yes, because I go to school at dawn, 5 a.m. and come home at 9 p.m. When I, I don't understand. Is there any I, school that starts at 5 a.m.? No. Like I you do leave extra home. classes. Oh, okay. Yeah, so in the morning. You have to leave very early. And then meet, you meet about the teacher three before. teachers. Oh, you don't mean it? Yes, meet about three teachers because I, I, I'd never stepped in school. Ah, uh-huh, so they have to catch up. Yes, like, okay. They have to catch up. But wow. in catching up, I overcatch. <laughs> so, so they just have to. <laughs> they just have to fish me. So they yeah, overcatch. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I see. That's fine. So, so you started school at what age? I if started, you can remember, I started school at age thirteen. Oh, yeah. How old are you now? Now I'm thirty. I see. Interesting. So you had to do a lot of like yes. schooling fast. Yeah. I see. And um, so, <clears throat> what? What? So. <clears throat> From the Church of Christ International School, I mean, you went to. Uh, so I completed Church of Christ International School yeah. in 2012. Okay. I was one of the best students. In the really? And then after, what made you one of the best grades? Or? Yes, in terms of grades. And then what did you get? I got zero eight. Oh, you you did? Yeah, eight. Yes. Really? I see. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So, so, so you were that brilliant. Yeah, I, I was, I, I was very sharp. <laughs> Interesting. Then let's move forward. Then after, in, so in twenty twelve, we wrote our BEC, mm. and then after then, mm-hmm. um, I decided that I really want to go to the university, mm-hmm. but I don't want to go to a secondary school. Okay. So I just registered for the NOBTEC immediately after the BEC. And, oh, deck as in SHS, like Wasi deck. Yes, the Wasi deck. Why? You didn't want to go through senior high school? Yes, I just wanted to go to go university, to university from BEC. From BEC. Hey. Yes. Why? It's a, it's a record I wanted to set, set for myself. But you unfortunately, oh. after I went to NOVDEC, I passed all the subjects. I filled elective maths. Oh. And um, so that was when I decided that, okay, let me you go, have to go to, to the school. System. And then study for EMAT. So so you went to senior high school? Later on, I went to senior high school. I started Church of Christ Senior High. Okay. Um, the same basic I Okay, completed. you yes, continued. I okay. I went there. Mm. Um, to study 20, what? In 2014, I studied geography, mm-hmm. um, government, mm-hmm. elective maths, and then economics. I see. Yes. I see. They awesome. call general arts too. Yeah, also. yeah. And what... Did you hope to be from there? Like, what, what, what were you? What was your dream to become? So, a... from childhood, yeah, I, I want, I wanted to become a pilot all along. Yes, I just, I just, um, anytime you see the airplane, yeah, I'll just come out and be like, we have a song that I used to do, hello, pilot, okay, catch him, I may say, he needs he can, don't know. Uh-huh. After doing that kind of play. Uh-huh. I'll just feel so relaxed and mm-hmm. I'll say one day I'll be the driver of this thing. Ah, so uh, I see. I, I just don't know how, how and then yeah. when I'll be there. Yes, but, but you still you still have I'll the, be, the I'll be a pilot. Awesome. Hallelujah. I'm praying <laughs> for the day I'll sit in your aircraft. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> then I'll, I'll, I'll intentionally give you a shout out. Oh really? <laughs> <laughs> That'll be crazy. <laughs> now let's talk about your school days. Just this week. And the last week, I should say, it, it, it came 2001. That was when I saw it on your Facebook page. But just last week, it came again with a big bang for even Ghana Web to pick it and do a story about it. And it was about your testimonial from the school that you attended, the senior high school that you attended. And the testimonial described you as a very disrespectful, Respectful and an ungrateful student. And that was really, really terrible for <laughs> somebody mm-hmm. that people like me have come to know as too subservient, obedient, respectful, humble, like, and very grateful as well. You know? Okay, so. And, and so we want to understand that the story behind this testimonial. And and how you came to even discover it yourself because it was a mystery okay. discovery. Yeah. 
Thank you so much for this question. And <laughs> basically, I, I didn't want to talk about my testimony. Yeah. But you have um, to right now. You are all over the place. The whole world but, has seen your testimony. But I've come How to bad realize you are. that I really have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I live in a community mm -hmm. that um, if we're a young person, mm -hmm. Um, and you try to voice out and then stand by what you say, mm -hmm. um, you are being seen as someone that is stubborn, um, mm -hmm. stubborn mm -hmm. and then it doesn't respect yeah, yeah. because you don't. But from growing up, one thing that I learned from myself is that I got baptized in 2006. Okay. I was 13 years. Mm -hmm. And that was when you actually started school. Yes, that's when I started school. So where, where did they start? Class one or where did you start? Class three. Class three. Yes. Okay. So um, after baptism, mm -hmm. I didn't force myself to get baptized. Mm -hmm. We went to church from Enchi. I've come and then my uncle knows I was stubborn. Mm -hmm. You understand? Oh, so, so your uncle also knew you were stubborn? From Enchi. <laughs> yes. So it's, so, <laughs> it's only your headmaster yes. who saw it. So <laughs> he was like, um, I'm not preaching with Kobus, Kobus. So I went, I got baptized. But oh, after baptism, mm -hmm. um, I began to learn with adults. Okay. Ad um, if you baptize, you are no more a child. Okay. You go to the right. adult class. Yeah. So learning with the adults. Mm -hmm. I picked principles for myself. Uh -huh. I, I told myself that this is one of the principles I live with. Okay. If this thing I'm holding at the moment, yeah. it's an iPhone. Mm -hmm. If we put this phone on this table yeah. right now, yeah. and then there is a general statement that says that anybody that touches this thing mm. is a fool. Mm. That's a general statement. Mm -hmm. If a two-year-old child, a child is a fool. Okay. If a 60-year-old man touches it, mm. the 60-year-old man is a fool. Mm. Those were my principles. So you were very strict and then uh, kind of unbending. Yes, I, because know. I want to go to heaven. Hey, I see. Okay. So <laughs> when I came back to school, yeah. to the secondary school, yeah. my assistant headmaster then... Yeah. Who later became the headmaster and gave me that testimony yeah. was my best friend, anyways. Oh. And then I really used to like his class because he teaches integrated science. Uh -huh. And he was one of the teachers that I can I go out and speak very well. I see. But when we were about to complete school, we were supposed to com contribute some money mm. and then give to appreciate our teachers. Okay. And then I was privileged, and then I was the one selected to collect the money or take the money from the class. I see. I took the money mm -hmm. and then the person that instructed me to take the money was the headmaster. Uh -huh. The headmaster told me not to give the money to, to anybody, anybody yeah. without his consent. Okay. But at the point, my teachers came to me to give them the money yeah, so money. that they would go and sit with the headmaster and then have an equal share. Okay, I see. And I said, until I hear from the from headmaster, the headmaster you Lala, do, yeah. Okay. I don't know what happens happened mm. next. I completed school three years later. I came for my testimonial. Mm -hmm. And that was what you saw on your testimonial. I didn't even see it because uh -huh. the testimonial was sealed. Uh -huh. I was taking it to an embassy. Yeah. I got to the embassy. I gave it to them. And then the woman called me back to come and explain that, that testimony. Mm. So I told her I don't know why I should get that because I see. to me I know myself to be a grateful um someone who respectful and then and also all very great all. yeah so she gave me the visa wow but Chinese embassy then when you apply for a school visa they give you all your documents back mm -hmm. so when my visa came when mm -hmm. I picked my visa yeah. they gave me all the documents so I have the original document I gave Embassy, mm -hmm. all with me, mm -hmm. and that's when I got a copy of the of testimonial. The testimonial. And I shared it on the internet, not to review so I, or yes. make it feel like yeah. I, I you are like, yeah, but you just know. to encourage some people that sometimes you just need to protect 
and then stand by your, your words. principles. Because okay. if I gave out the money to my teachers when uh, they requested for it, uh-huh. I, I wouldn't know what would happen from yeah. the headmaster to I see. Yeah. I see. I see. So, <laughs> so that's all the story, really. Yes. And why is it trending? This uh, this is so simple. Like, yes, somebody who was standing by his principles and his headmaster, you know, thought that he was you know, being you know, disrespectful. They're, 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 and then he's written his testimonial and then he sends it to an embassy and the embassy calls you back to explain the testimonial, which you did, and you got your visa because they, they believed in your story. Why is it making the, the trends? It's all over the place. Um, you know, is it because have, of the way you explained yeah. it? You know about the, the yeah. motivation that Basically, you decided to as give. I, said, I, I, I posted it to motivate some people. You and, are difficult to. And then uh, hey. those that the story does not motivate <laughs> will have a say about it. Of course. And then those that it also motivates also have a say. Right. About it. So um, you've left it to everybody to say what yeah. they want to say. Yes, yes. But to you, it it's an encouragement that. Yes. No matter what people write about you, once it's your principles you were living out, that's it. Yeah, that, that's it. And <laughs> the embassy would even uh, they, you they, know, they, they, agree they, with you. Yeah, they, they could um, read in between the lines. And then I see. decide what they want. I see. Yes. I see. Nobody else has asked for that testimonial from you again before. I've I mean, used, like, I've used the same testimonial with Epic Aviation and then Women Aviation. And what was that? What? Who are they? So, Epic Aviation is a uh, is an is an aviation, aviation school. school. Okay. So I would or I try to take my pilot training with them. And and, and then, they you submitted that as part of the document. Yes. I Did they ask it. for that? Anywhere you use your high school certificate, they would like yeah, a testimonial. Yes. So for me, mm-hmm. I do not have a degree. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> we'll talk about that one too. <laughs> your stories are many, so we'll take it one by one. 30 years and your stories are so many like that. Okay, so so and they they've also asked you to explain that line. Yes, um, there was an interview and they asked me what I used to do when I was in school. <laughs> and I told them when I was in school I I used to do sign language. Okay, and that's then, another thing we need to talk about. Yeah? And then outside doing sign language, mm-hmm. I don't care about anything. Never I just been. come to school and learn and then go. go or yeah, so, and they asked me, um, did I have any kind of fight with my headmaster? Or, 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 was he not? I yeah. said, I don't know. Uh, I, I just see. went for my testimonial. I see. And this is the only testimonial I have. So at a point, <laughs> one interviewer from Wayman asked me yeah. if I would uh, think about going back to my school mm. to request for a different any testimony. testimony. And I said, no, this is what <laughs> I have. It has been stamped and sealed. <laughs> and you are going all over the world to show it to everybody. Yeah, that's my testimony. I can't believe you. Yes. You know me. Am I, am I disrespectful? You and me, we don't have anybody to come and judge. Like, it, it, but I, I still can disrespect. I've not, you've not shown it to me, and so I can't, I can't speak. I don't know how you. That's how come you know I, people grow up and people change, and so I can't I, say that I, the way I've met who you I, who is I how. Was. In 2006, is this day? No, 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 no. You have grown up, so maybe you have become a better person, and for the fact that you are you know, described as an ungrateful guy. For me, I would testify otherwise because the laptop I currently use is he who came to give it to me as a gift. You know? (laughs) And so, and he says what? I said, "Ah, what what is it for? He said, oh, I just appreciate all that you've done for me. You know, I I see you as my mentor and blah, blah, blah. He ran his mouth and then just sent me a laptop, proper laptop from his one of his trips in Dubai or somewhere. And so for me, for somebody to say that he's such an ungrateful child, I'm, I'm like, no, we need to ask, is this the same guy we are dealing with? So maybe you have changed, but that, that's beside the point. <laughs> <laughs> we, we see a different person. Somebody also saw a different person. So yes. maybe, um, but, but that, that's just by the way. And uh, though it's now become... Like the definitive part of your life, you know, but 
to me, I, I would say that um, everybody has certain principles they want to espouse yeah. or live by. And if those are your principles that you want to stand by your word, you know, and then do what you think is right, just do it, you know, no matter what people say. I mean, <laughs> yeah, so that's it. So um, just let's move away from there. But, um, ha. <laughs> 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 so, so, so now let's talk about, we are still on your schooling. So you came to the University of Ghana where I met you. Yes. And what course did you apply for? So at the University of Ghana, yeah. I applied for computer science and technology. Uh -huh. And, and you, my dream was that when I that, come to uh -huh. do computer science, then I'll relate it to yeah, the piloting. How, how computers are used in the plane. Oh, I see. All yeah. The, and... The, you didn't they get gave the me dance and <laughs> <laughs> dance studies. Yes, I got dance, theater, art, and music. And you are the and best dancer I've, I've <laughs> not been. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I wish we could do some so, dance moves here. So when I got music, when I got my admission, I just looked at this <laughs> like this, and I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is this what will lead us to the piloting yes. school? I can't so imagine. At the point, I didn't want to come. But you had and to just... And then, at the point, mm -hmm. um, I had a girlfriend that told me <laughs> that, look, take advantage of it. Yeah. This is this could be a foundation yeah. for you to, I mean, taste how the tertiary education is like. Right. And then you can use that to network with people. People and then... Move on. And I asked and you and you've done that. you've done that. Yes. Because that's where you met me as well. Yes. And you've met several other people, you know, at the university. But you and, never completed. And uh, you know why you became my mentor? Oh please. When Is I, that a story we are coming to tell no, right now? Uh, just to just <laughs> mm -hmm. when I came to the university, uh -huh. you know, I'm a member of the Church Church of Christ. Yes, and just as I am. Mm -hmm. Almost everyone will see me and be like, "So you, when you finish this program, what do you use it for?" <laughs> but you alone met me, and then you were like, "Great, this is a wonderful <laughs> program. Do it. You got it." So, I see. I so you like, were motivated. Yes, I was like, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. but you never completed that program. Yes, you ran away. Yes, I did not complete that program. Um, in 2017, yes, um, when you were in level what? In 2017, I was in level 200. Okay, and I applied for the hot prize competition. When you say um, to hot prize is Bill Gates Foundation, and then it also has a school. Mm -hmm. Every year they bring a challenge for young people around the world yeah. to to solve that challenge. Right. So in 2017, they brought up a challenge. Mm -hmm. And I was just happening on the internet and then I saw it. Mm -hmm. Then I've joined the University of Ghana Debate Society. Yeah. And I saw that my grammar and the way I speak, <laughs> uh, I can't compete. So uh -huh. I was just looking for something new. Yeah. I came across House Prize. I applied and I was selected to compete in the UK. Uh -huh. And when I got a chance, yeah. the University of Ghana published me on their website. Woo! The Ghana News Agency also wow. published me on their website. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. the UK embassy said, no, there's not a time. Oh. So they just put it on a place like, oh. you can't go. Oh. Then we came back to the school, and the school told us, look, ask Hot Prize if you can go any other place than the UK. Yeah. And then they put us in Dubai. Yeah. So for Dubai, sincerely, I don't know how it happened. One gentleman, Ira Adams Kari, mm -hmm. and then he did everything like magic. Why well, And then the same week, mm -hmm. we went to Dubai. Then, when we go, when we we're going to Dubai, we, right. we used Emirates, right? Uh -huh. I got a window seat, mm -hmm. and then I just look <laughs> at everything. Yeah. And then I be like, yes. This is where I want to be. <laughs> yes, I just want to be in the sky. Um, and one thing is, you know, we had just been refused a UK visa. Yeah. And I had a lot of problems when I was in school mm -hmm. because at a point I was not able to pay my fees. Oh. And then at a point, Commonwealth War also ejected us. And oh. then I was looking for a place to sleep. Oh, yeah. But immediately we got into the plane and then I'm just looking. All oh, your dreams were just those. coming through. <laughs> I had no problem. Yeah. So it's like, 
I've not different seen new anybody. experience. Yeah, exactly. So I felt like this is the place I want to be. I see. For the rest of my life. <laughs> you want to be in the sky. and be in the sky. Oh my goodness. Yes. You want to escape from reality? So, <laughs> so we came from Dubai. Right. And then immediately I came, I dropped out from college. And then I decided to pick a new career. Mm. I, I mean... Now, pursue some now new, pursue yeah. my talent dream. I see. So I applied to. So you left at level three hundred or two hundred. I going to. I started thinking about living in two hundred, <laughs> and I left in three hundred. I see. And then I went to China, uh-huh. Xi'an Aerospace University, uh-huh. to do aircraft designs. So you actually enrolled in that school yes, as well. Yes, and then they gave me admission, and I went to Xi'an Aerospace University uh-huh. to start a program in aircraft designs. And I want to even finish. When I started that, yes. um, I realized that designing is different from, from pilot. The pilot. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, hey, Isaac. So I took Isaac a study. Isaac. I took a study leave, mm-hmm. and then I came back to Ghana. Ghana. When I came, I went back to the University of Ghana mm-hmm. to resume your studies. Is my, because when I was going, I deferred. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then when I came, I resumed. Mm-hmm. Then oh, I, you did? Yes. Then I got to level 400. And then you dropped out again? Yeah. What made you? Say this story. Oh. So, hey! Yeah. <laughs> so you still not finished that degree? No, please. And you don't hope to go back? Oh. Well, Actually, yeah, I know you. When, when, they you, national when service. your spirit comes, you will go, you will go back to Lebanon. If you cancel national service, I'll go back. Oh. You but- see? But it's not compulsory for you to do national service. If it's you... not compulsory. Yeah. But I didn't understand something. Uh huh. You see, I, I I told you earlier. Yeah. I have I make personal principles. Yeah, yeah. And I want to follow them. Yeah. So I got to level four hundred. When I came back, I went to level four hundred. Right. And then I was asking myself, so I will complete school, and then I'll try my best mm-hmm. to work with a yeah, company. Yeah. And then. And then it, the first year. I'll be earning like five thousand a month, and <laughs> but when I checked in the records, the government appreciates university graduates yeah. as five hundred cities. Mm. So I was like, no, this is this, <laughs> this is, is not what you this are is interested not what in. I want. So I see. Let me just stay back. I see, and then now think about what will give me five thousand. Whoa! So what will give me five thousand yes. is entrepreneurship, and that's what you started. Yes, and I started thinking about entrepreneurship. Yeah. I started thinking about programs. I see. And then, yeah, yeah. We will get back to your entrepreneurship journey. And so this is a Conrad show where we are discussing purpose, passion, and power. We are talking about a young man who has very interesting stories <laughs> in one whole life story. We'll be back. Are you interested in building yourself in the media sector? Do you want to be a journalist, a videographer, a photographer, or any media personnel? Then Heritage Media Center is the right place to be. Ashon Mankelina is my name, a student of the Heritage Media Center. Heritage Media Center is just not centered on theory, but mostly about practicals. I am a student studying both journalism and multimedia. Someone would ask, can I study both journalism and multimedia? Yes, you can. And it also comes with a discount. Studying at Heritage Media Center gives you the opportunity to have access to all learning materials. Here at Heritage Media Center, we have the best lectures. Their main aim is to make sure we get the best of understanding. Come to Heritage Media Center and have that quality education. The goal of Heritage Christian College is to inspire its students to define their purpose in life by equipping them with the right skills to make them employable.
Heritage Christian College seeks the evolution of each student through entrepreneurship, ethics, philanthropy, and technology. These values, we believe, would unfurl their wings and allow them to reach their full potential and achieve their dreams. Join us now for a world-class university education and experience the HCC difference. Thank you so much for staying with us. This is the Conrado Show. We are discussing purpose, passion, and power, looking at the passionate pursuit of one's dreams. And then today, the spotlight is on Isaac Kweku Asian, a very controversial young man. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac. Now, so, so, so tell me, um, let's talk about your entrepreneurship ideas. What did you start as your very first entrepreneurship idea that you nurtured? And then, as you said, your 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 way of uh, entrepreneurship is about you think about the idea, you nurture it, and then grow it to a certain state, and then you you sell it out. Okay. And you've done that for about five different. So, what did you start with? Okay, so and where is it now? Yeah. So I've nurtured mm -hmm. the 3SL group. Okay, so I love that. Yeah, <laughs> 3SL group. That's about what sign language. Sign language. So yeah. Where um, 3SL, yeah. I started um, teaching people about the deaf, mm. the deaf culture, mm -hmm. and then how we all can accept, um, accept deaf people, not people who are sick, okay. but rather add them to the community right. and make it go. So with awesome. the 3SL group, we, we, we taught a lot of people in the corporate world. Yeah. And then everywhere sign language. I see. And then we also proposed a mobile application. Um, the prototype has been made. Yeah. We made a prototype. We won the national award. Wow. Um, that is when you speak, it converts to sign language. Mm -hmm. And then when a deaf person signs, yeah. it converts to text and speech. Okay. So okay. we wrote that idea. I see. And then, so is it in use now? Uh, yes. So that idea was sold to someone in Astra. And then, um, Austria, as, as I speak, you yes. mean Austria, Astra. It's not Australia, the one with the <laughs> with Adelia. Uh, Austria, Austria, yeah. yeah. I traveled there 2014. Oh, God. yeah. Or, or so, we saw the idea okay. to someone there, yeah. And then he made a prototype, it's on Play Store. I see, it's called um, Sign Pro. So, Sign Pro, yeah. So, it's your idea that you sold out to that mm, person, yes. and person and the person has now yes. made now, it. Yes, wow. and I've seen a lot of. People, people using it, implementing it. Everywhere. Wow! Yeah. Congratulations on that. Thank you. So what other? And um, then from there, ideas? I wrote the Yasudes plan. For so basically, the Yasudes plan is nurturing young people yeah. into becoming entrepreneurs. Yeah. And um, with that, we organized the African Magnet Summit. Right. We also organized a lot of a lot of events yeah that i've attended one of them yes, i think yes. at the university of ghana yes also so, and it was so awesome so yes 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 is now being operated by a different group of okay. people in uh, nigeria they run it right and then one other person in canada wow. also runs the yes business plan awesome yes. awesome and then the next one or currently what and are you working Karen, with or what yeah from what there you know? i came into the travel industry interesting and then i've written the air mat system. What and is that? So basically, the air mat system is a market. Okay? So if you can assume yourself buying something in space, I, I'm, I'm not near to Elon Musk, but mm. I'm thinking about mm. creating a market in space. Mm. And then if that market can be in space, then how do you get to space? Uh, still connect to where I want to be a pilot. So Wow. So 
in reality, how does it work? In reality, how is I know of your air my dreamy destinations. Yes, and I have I, the air my dreamy yeah. destinations. I have the campus air uh -huh. I have the air mat express. I have the air mat tag. I have the air mat tag pro. All of these are business all of them ideas are and around air mat. Air mat, okay. Some of them are being run by other people because oh, I've sold the those part to them. them. But so they give you the, big money for selling out your ideas. No, it depends on the relationship you have with the person. I see. For instance, if you want to give me um Conrado show to uh -huh. host uh -huh. and then it wouldn't be yours again. Uh -huh. Maybe you would need something. Uh, something good. I see. Yes. I see. Yes. Interesting. So that's what you do. Yes. But right now, so how do you survive? What what work do you do? People keep asking me, that's your friend. What exactly does he do for a living? I write, and I don't know I what write to business say. ideas and sell them. That's also a business. Yeah, that's business. Like for, for <laughs> instance, you want to start everyone wants to start a business. Yeah. But not everyone is no, a good so. business person. Okay. Yeah. So I can write an idea yeah. and then sell it to you. Or you can tell me who you are and based on your character, your behavior and how you handle things. You can, can give you a craft a business plan, plan yes. for oh, that's that's great. It's good. It's good to know this. And um, we've been seeing you every day. You are on Facebook. You know, today we are in Canada. Then you'll be doing Facebook live. Today we have gone to US, and tomorrow we are here. Tomorrow, and then you even came to deceive us that you now want to be Guinness Book of Records uh, <laughs> attempt um, for the. The, the the most, most countries, countries visited. visited. Yeah. That's not the seat. Um, ah, but what? Well, how real is that one? So basically, from mm -hmm. December to, to December to yeah, I am attempting the record for the um, most, most countries, countries visited. visited how in many one have year? Visited now? Okay, so basically now I've done twenty two, but those twenty two are not counting into next year. Okay. So next year, I am starting the travel proper. Oh, okay. So that's when the Guinness World Record yes. will be attempted. Yes. So I've applied to oh. the Guinness Book of Records. They, they've accepted uh -huh. me to attempt the challenge. I see. So attempting does not mean breaking it. Yeah. If I attempt and I'm able to do it. Yeah, that's fine. Fine. But, yeah. And then the person that holds the record now, did 66 countries and you want to in do, one year okay. and i want to do 100 in one year whoa so we start, will you carry me along at some places like the ones <laughs> i want to go to the ones i've been to i don't want to go again okay so, <laughs> so when i go to the ones i want to go there i'll follow okay, sure. i yes. see and who pays for all of these anybody that attempts a record pays for it no no no. i'm not talking about the record bit but the normal what is travel it for you exactly the normal travel yeah Should what's it and what is in it for you? Is it because of business that you're traveling, or because I've seen Not in Canada you want to do you want to do um, some uh, those uh, comedian yes, in, stuff in Canada? Uh -huh. Come September, uh, August to September. Yeah, we are having a mega tour uh -huh. with celebrities from Ghana. Uh -huh. So we are going with Amhofe Patricia, uh -huh. General Intatie, uh -huh. MJ the comedian, Lazy the comic, Clemento Suarez, Ebenezer Jumo. Hey. Um, I mean, name any other comedian you can think of. You are sending them all to Canada. Or can't say. And then our, our very own sister, Ifwa We are going to Canada. We're going to have 10 days tour. Is it and your then, program? Yeah, that's my program. With um, the national event venue okay. as our host in Canada. Mm -hmm. And then we have Liberty Suite Hotel as our partner. I see. And then the Ghana Embassy mm. in Toronto, we have one of our big bosses there. I see. That is also sponsoring. And, and that's in August, us. September. Yeah, that's in August and September. So okay. basically, um, I travel sometimes for leisure. Okay. And sometimes for, for business. business. Yes. Yes. I see. Yes. I see. That's exciting to know. Driving is the best thing anyone can do. Can ever think about. Really? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> That's according to you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no. So, so, um, so right now, you you don't like on a daily basis. It's just about travel. Yes, I I sleep <laughs> and work. Mm -hmm. Travels. I see. I think and eat. <laughs> Travels. Can you imagine? And, and everything I do is about travel. I see. And 
I see. Also, how to become a pilot. Yeah, let's talk about that dream. You you say you want to be a pilot and have got admission to seven pilot training schools across the world. Why are you so passionate about this dream? Okay, so I know where I come from. Okay. And my background and where I come from, uh -huh. anybody that knows me will be like, if you want to be a pilot, who is going to pay for you? Uh -huh. How are you going to be? It? Yeah. How will you do it? Yeah. But it's a challenge I've thrown for myself. Yeah. And Steve Harvey, Harvey says yeah. something which I using and implementing yeah. in my life. Yeah. From childhood, I wanted to be a pilot. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be the youngest pilot in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, someone has that title already. Mm -hmm. And I've enrolled in seven schools, mm -hmm. as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Um, I've enrolled in 43 air schools. I've been to Shenyan Aerospace University. Mm. I've been to Ethiopian Aviation Academy. Where is I've that? I've been to, in Ethiopia. Okay. And I've been to... MVP. As in like been to, which means you visited there. No, not visited. I went visit. to say, hello, how are you? Not visit. But I apply. What? Okay. They, they accept accepted me to come you. and start my training. But because but of money. When I get there, yeah. I see that. No. <laughs> it's I not for the small boys. And I'll come back. <laughs> And think about new plans, new yeah. ideas, new strategies. Maybe if there's a scholarship like, somewhere, yes. you are, so you yes. are exploring all financing yes. options yes. for you to be able to enroll, like properly enroll and begin yes. the program and finish it. Yes, I see. And then they said, if you don't delve into something, yeah. you just be following hearsay. Yeah, and I don't want to do that. You want so to go and I go you know, and say, right now I've settled to do my training with um, Epic. Or women, okay. Um, all of them are in Florida, so mm. um, I'm still contemplating on which of them I should finish with. That's I started right. with Epic, and right. then I'm thinking about competing with women. Okay, interesting. But but the money bit of it, the money bit of it, maybe God is paying. Ah, I see. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know you had a direct <laughs> bank account with God. <laughs> hey. hey. Uh, I, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm so sorry, but but that's that's really exciting, and I would love to see that dream come to uh, yes. to, to when pass I become because... a pilot, and then you also become a pilot. So you meet me in the sky, Kofi Bwabe, the pay. Ah! I just bring up my hand and give it away. Can you imagine? <laughs> Anyway, but I don't want to be that. Yeah. I don't want to be that, you know. <laughs> anyway, but uh, when I become Ghana's president, maybe you will be my presidential you pilot. <laughs> uh, anyway, now, so how do you, why do you encourage people to travel? Maybe just one line on that. Why is it that you encourage a lot of people that they want to, tra they should travel. They should just travel and see things. Basically, if I never traveled, I would, I would, I would think Ghana is the best place on earth to be. I see. But when I traveled, yeah, and then I saw and I learned yeah. that Ghana is lacking yeah. a whole lot of things. Yeah. Therefore, I decided to unlearn and relearn. Relearn. I see. Awesome. Now, and there's one thing that I've also seen about you, which is the fact that whenever you meet something, an opportunity or something good. You don't want to keep it to yourself. You want to tell other people about it. Why Why that? There is a Bible quotation. Uh -huh. And uh, I think I saw it in your school that says that, pass on what you have received. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see. It's my favorite quotation. I just see. that I can't point where it is. <laughs> I just know. Yeah, that is I just know that it's in the Bible that pass on what you have received. So... <laughs> I see. If, if I get something and mm. I keep it to myself, mm -hmm. I think it's a sin. I see. That's what I think. So I just feel like sharing it with any other person. Oh, yes. I see. I see. I see. I see. And and so you every opportunity, I keep seeing that you know you you've seen a lot of things you know around the world, and you're encouraging people that oh just you know just try as much as possible to also also get that and. And I'm, I'm very excited about it. You've Thank told you. me a number of things that you would also love me to um, uh, also just just uh, try out or just, you know, know about it or even uh, just see how best we can use that. So uh, 2 Timothy 2 verse 2, uh -huh. yes. whatever. 
the, um, you have learned or seen in me, you know, pass it on to those who would also be faithful and, and also, <laughs> you know, <laughs> would also use it. Yeah, so that's very important. And then um, um, this last bit of it, uh, I told you earlier that the computer that I currently use, the laptop that I currently use, it was donated to me by my son, Isaac Kwekwesian. I was just there somewhere, somewhere and I was actually looking for a new laptop. And then one day it just landed. I'm like, how did you know that I needed a, a laptop, a new laptop? You know? <laughs> and he said, well, you know, you've done a lot for me and I feel that I must give you something. And I said, okay. <laughs> Uh, now I won't I won't just stop being a, a, a mentor to people. I would continue because one day the gifts will be dropping like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but why why is why why are you also like that? You are very like very generous and then you show a lot of appreciation. You know, small thing that somebody does for you. And you want to go and appreciate the person. You want to help the person, you know, in the way they also need your help or yeah, why are you why are you like that? Okay, so mm -hmm. um, being generous, mm -hmm. um, I think I learned from the Jesus story. Okay, in the Jesus movie we just watched. So um, there was one part of the movie mm -hmm. that Jesus moved to someone, and then picked an apple, mm -hmm. and then gave to someone, and this is what he said: "Will be so idea, manibi." in the tree version uh, as i would i see and from that day uh -huh. i came across another song that said each day i'll do a good indeed yeah. by helping those who are in need yeah so basically not not that i think i can help everyone on earth yeah but i just try to do the little i can I see. in my own way interesting um, give out the best that you i see i your... see i see now let's let's talk about um your family tell us about your family My your family your 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 wife and child <laughs> oh so i'm married to a very beautiful young lady <laughs> And then she... Call Cornelia. <laughs> yeah, I know and, her. And she's also my friend. My first. And, uh, <laughs> I call her my diamond. Hey. Um, with her, we have one handsome son. Okay. And um, what's his name? His name is Mehene. Yes. What's my that? King. What does it mean? My king. Yes. Okay. You know, I prayed to God mm -hmm. to give me a gift. Mm -hmm. And then I promised God I will take very good care of that gift. Wow. And um, he gave us a gift. Wow. And the gift is our king. I see. And How old is he now? 16 months. Okay. And then we we, right. we, we doing our best. I see. So, I see. We are praying uh, for nice. my queen as well for you. <laughs> 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 Interesting. Interesting. So... On a final note, what would you say to young people like you who want to chase their dreams, you know? What should they be doing? You have struggled in terms of pursuing this, your pilot dream. You struggled, you know, to do dance studies at the University of Ghana. You struggled to go and do design, aer aerospace design when you want to be a, a, a pilot, actually. You've struggled, you know, in different, different things. You've succeeded in some, you failed in others, you have got some bad reports, you know, yeah. testimonials, which have become <laughs> trump cards for you right now to succeed, and all of that. What would you tell young people? For all young people watching me or listening to yeah. me at this moment, I want them to understand that life is not a straight line. Mm. Life is like an iambic pentameter. Hey. And when I say an iambic pentameter, it is like a zigzag. Mm. You understand? You just have to set up your dream. Yeah. And then know that this is what I want to achieve. Right. Know that this is what I want to do. Right. Know that this is something I'm so passionate about. Yeah. And then let it cost you your life. For me, I see. 
I don't care what like happens. Like your best, your best must be put into real. I really want to be a pilot. <laughs> so I am doing everything, everything possible. possible. And then every single day, yeah. I am writing new things that I can do yeah. in my own small ways. Mm. For instance, um, just focusing that, mm. okay, so I can be a public speaker for mm. six months yeah. and then maybe raise 10000 uh-huh. to support my pilot dream. Uh-huh. After six months, I can just quit the public mm. speaking and, and then, then go and be on the street and sell ice water. I see. I've been on the street, I've sold Tigo Sen before. Mm. I've been on the street, I've sold MTN Scratch Cars. Yeah. And everyone that knows me knows that this is what yeah, I've been doing. Yeah. I've been on the street, I've taught sign language. Sometimes I go to individuals in their offices I and then tell them about deaf people. I see. And I just want everyone to know yeah. that whatever that you want to do, yeah. it's possible. Awesome. Anything you can think about, you can achieve it. Mm. All you need to do is to mm. know that this is what I want to do. Yeah. This is where I want to be at. And this is what I want to achieve. Wow. And just keep working on You will definitely be there one day. I see. Let me just ask, maybe, it, it, in all your pursuit of uh, this pilot training thing, hasn't it ever occurred to you to enter th- into the Ghana Armed Forces for... How do you call it? The Air Force bit of it? No, I just want to be a pilot and then... Um, Not to be a military guy in terms of I, Air Force. I don't know how to be... How, I, I, I've i never thought about it. Really? Yes, because I, it just occurred to me as yes. well. I'm I, like, I've, I've ne- this guy is struggling all along, looking yeah. for money to go train. Yeah. Can't he just enter into the military and then get into the Air Force? I've never thought and about, about it. That. I've never thought about it. Maybe this all show right. is opening your eyes all, to all, that. All, all, all I want to be is uh, to become a pilot. So I see. if the if there is a vacancy <laughs> or a chance in the air force, I'm going to start looking in that. Interesting. Yeah. Thank you. So Interesting. Much. Yeah, but I'm so excited that you've you've made it to the show. I'm Thank very you. very happy that you've come and you've cleared the air on who you are and also some of the things that are on the internet about you. <laughs> You've really told us the story, and then the inside story is very interesting to know. And then also, um, you've inspired other young people as well. You say you are 30 years? I'm 30 now. I see, I see. And um, we're praying that God continues to bless you and help you, and so that you rewrite your story of... I've uh, done that. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, because we want to see you succeed, I mean, and so... Uh, it's it's a pleasure so that I can get more laptops, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I, I need a laptop then, you know, Isaac should say, Oh, my my mentor, I want I want to bring you a laptop from Dubai. Mm-hmm. I'll be like, Oh, how did you know I needed a laptop? <laughs> anyway, so God bless you, uh Isaac Quickwasian. And then also for everybody who is watching us today, your life may not be in a straight line, as he said. All of us, I mean, you see us shining and blah, 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 but it's not been a straight line. It's, it's been very taut to us and, and very zigzagged and, and it's been very eventful, which means that lots of things have happened and they've all built us into who we are. There are failures. we failed severally. And I've told you my story about the fact that I also started off with general science, for example, at senior high school. I had to do it first year, and then I said, no, this is not what I want. And then I repeated myself, went into, you know, general arts and continued. And, and this is where I am with it, you know. And so it doesn't mean that when you start something and you don't succeed with it, you should, you should just decide that that's the end of you. No. There are other routes that you may pass in order to get to where you want to be. And then also, as a young person, you can do a lot, a lot. It is this time of your life that you have the energy. Pursue your dreams with so much passion. Don't let anything stop you. Don't let anything, you know, bad that may have been said about you or you may have done be the end of your story. You can rewrite it. And one day, people would say, this is really the reason that this person did this or, you know, um, we now understand the person better because of certain principles that the person is upholding. And I believe strongly that everybody has the potential, the seed in them to succeed. 
Yours is just to be able to discover that seed and then water it to grow, germinate, and then uh, you know, flourish. And God shall surely bless you. I pray that goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life and continue to dwell in the house of the Lord. He is a very faithful Christian. We didn't talk about that aspect. <laughs> yeah, but, but he, all the power, you see, the aspect of our show as well is about what power are you tapping into. And he is a very strong guy when it comes to expressing his Christian faith. And I believe so strongly that God would continue to bless him and then you as well. This is where we bring the show to an end today. See you same time next week. Bye for now.